today we're bringing along Krista, Emily's sister. Uh, we're going to try out some of this light tackle that I've been putting together, some of these experimental rods. Krista doesn't come fishing much. She comes along with her father now and then when he books a trip, but she's not a real fisher person, so she'll be perfect to try this gear out on. And what she's going to do is try out the uh, experimental spiral wrap or acid wrap rod I had put together uh, for people to use with real light line. It's your fish. Stand up. You gotta stand up and fight it. Now get yours in so it's out of the way. The parts for the rod with the exception of the blanks, came in the very beginning of uh, December, and the blanks arrived uh, a few days later. So I'm starting to put the rods together. But here's uh, Krista on the prototype of the spiral wrap rod that I built, finding a good-sized bluefish. And she's one that hasn't fished that much. Maybe she's been out with me two or three times and has usually used the heavier gear. This is the first time she's tried the light gear, and she really likes it. Here you see I've started wrapping the rods. The basic colors I'm using are as a black base with a silver trim at either end and a little blue, uh, metallic blue in the center. And then uh, when I put the guide on, it'll be black over that also. Um, you can get real colorful with this stuff, but I found that if just black over black with a little bit of color for the trim works fine. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, spiral wrapping these rods and you'll see what they're done, what they look like when they're done in just a little bit. It's running away. It's running away, it's running away. Now I want you to, you know, as you deal with that, to see if it's, you're finding it easier to handle than let's say a normal boat rod, if you can remember back that far. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of tough to remember back that far. I uh, know, as we get older, our memories seem. Connie made it for me on my very first year chartering. She was uh, an excellent mate. And since then, she's been down to try out a lot of the light tackle that I've built. Uh, this particular time, she's down with Paul Harris, her fiance, and we're using that uh, spiral wrap rod with a 27 pound test lead core on it. She really likes it. I've got the first coat on the rod here. You see it spinning and drying. And once that's set up, I'll check it for any little errors and, and fix that. And then I'll put the second coat on, which you see drying here. And once that's done, the rod is done. And I'm ready to start on the second one. I've got the, uh, the wrapping done so I can start putting the guides on and the guides will be next and hopefully in the next few days I'll be able to get this rod ready and it will be done. Here's the first coat on the, on the second rod. I'm letting it uh, run on the dryer here for probably about 10 hours. Then I'm gonna take it out and put it next to the wood stove. Here we have the second coat on. Again, I'm gonna run it for about eight to 10 hours and then put it next to the wood stove to completely dry. This is Miss Emily Ewing. Her and her father have been fishing with me since she's 11 years old. This last summer, she just turned 21. And here she is with a rod that I built last winter. Unfortunately, one of them had broken, so we just had this one left. But it's her opinion and suggestions that have brought me to this type of a rod and this type of an action. I want to thank her for that. She is a very good angler and an excellent mate. And the rods I've built this year are spiral wrapped, which is going to make it easier for anglers to fish with it.
Well, the rods are done, and uh, I'm outside. I have it attached to part of the deck. It's real hard to see the actual bend of the rod because of the trees in the background. I can't help that, but at any rate, it gives me just the action I want. And you're gonna see Emily with a fish on that one that I built last winter. And you'll see, the, they've got this almost the exact same action. But I think they're gonna be a lot of fun on some nice big fish. Here you see Emily again using that uh, rod that I built last winter. It has 12 pound test mono on it. The one you saw Krista using that was the the uh, prototype for the spiral wrap also had 12 pound test mono. What I'm putting on these new rods is gonna be 12 pound test lead core. It seems that it works a little bit better than the mono. And what fun we will have on some of those nice big stripers that arrive next spring.